players are getting locked and loaded, picking up their characters. We got that fist bump. Here we go. All right, so we've got Jess versus Mighty Alpha. Here we go, game one. Let's do it. So the task is definitely on Mighty Alpha here to try and win those neutral, act neutral interactions, get in as quickly as he can, and build up as much percent as he can. Oh, an unfortunate situation there for Jess. Probably a late jump on that recovery, but he wasn't able to grab it, and that might cost him this situation. We'll have to see. I don't think Joker's the character who will just give a freebie like that and let you make up that stock deficit that easily, but we'll see what Jess can do. Oh, and a, a nice charge shot there. I wasn't quite sure if that was going to be an Arsene, but we do have Arsene online now. This is where Mighty Alpha is hoping to make his money. And it's good on Jess to be as aggressive in this situation. You know, you would expect a, a Dark Samus to try and retreat, get those projectiles in, and try and camp out the Joker while they still have Arsene. A nice parry into an up special there from Jess. And a very clean stock there. All of a sudden, that SD that we saw at the beginning of this game doesn't seem to be mattering as much. 24% is super recoverable, and Joker no longer has Arsene on the table for now. Good spacing there from the Z air. And suddenly, per the percent deficit has just changed in the opposite direction. Again, Jess needs to find his openings to get in. You see he was trying to set up Rebel's Guard there. All right, and Arsene back on the table. And at this percent, you're going to need to get at least two or three more hits with Arsene to close out this stock. But those openings just aren't presenting themselves to Mighty Alpha. Jess is doing a really good job of mixing things up, keeping the movement kind of, you know, ambiguous in this situation. And it almost seems like Jess is maybe more aggressive when Joker has Arsene out. Not what I would have typically expected there. A good grab back air. Let's see if he can recover to the ledge there. Of course, Joker's tether recovery is just so good but he's still able to close out that stock. And we haven't seen Jess lose a stock since his own SD, so this has been looking very good for him thus far. Oh, an interesting tech situation there. On the platform, wow, that is damage. That charge shot is damage. And of course, Joker has on Arsene online, but he's got other things to worry about in this situation. A very ambitious up smash there. Neither players were able to connect their smash attacks but I think both of them know that this is kill time. He finds that forward air. And unfortunately, Mighty Alpha just wasn't able to get that much done with the Arsene there. Such a crucial part of Joker's game plan. A little bit more Rebel's Guard, but oh my god, the bomb barrage begins. Good movement there from Jess. And both of them at kill percents, but of course, Jess has another stock in the bank, so... You know, we'll see if there's anything that can be done here, but this is looking pretty convincing so far from Jess. That dash attack is going to do it as he takes game one. Some interesting interactions there. Again, you probably would have expected the Dark Samus to hang back a little bit more, rely on the projectiles, and mostly just punish when you fail in getting in. But I feel like we saw some pretty aggressive play there from Jess. And as for Mighty Alpha, I saw so many times he was trying to get that Rebel's Guard in, but was maybe just a frame or two late from getting some really, really good meter. Because again, Arsene is just so crucial to Joker's game plan. And Dark Samus has some weight. You know, Dark Samus is one of the heavy characters in the game, so it's going to take quite a bit to kill her. And Joker without Arsene has a difficult time finding those kills. You know, we, we also saw some really, really good edge guarding from Jess in that when he was using the bombs off the stage. Uh, it was super oppressive to Joker's tether recovery. There's not a lot he can do about that. And yeah, there we see it. Mighty Alpha switches to Lucas, which I think is probably a smart decision. He's looking to absorb the explosions, absorb the charge shot, and maybe find his kills a little bit earlier than he could have with Joker. Hopefully this character switch, you know, pays dividends for him. And of course, the PK fire between Ness and Lucas do function differently. I think the choice for Lucas is probably more for trying to get those damage and kills in rather than trying to get many combos because I think he knows fighting against a zoner like a Dark Samus, you're not going to have the longest strings in the world, but you do need to make your openings count. Again, it's just so hard to get in on Jess right now. On oh, a difficult landing PK fire there. Okay. 
Yeah, and that's the thing. At this percent, there are several options in Dark Samus' kit that can kill a very fortunate PK Freeze there. Possibly setting up to an edge guard situation, but a good air dodge there from Jess. As that forward air closes it out. So I might anticipate Lucas to be using the PSI magnet. Uh, Jess. Yeah, I might be anticipating Lucas to try and focus a little bit more on movement. I haven't been seeing the PSI magnet quite as frequently as I was expecting the, in a matchup like this. Yeah, and these platforms, again, small battlefield, a very similar stage to Pokemon Stadium. So in terms of stage familiarity, you know, Jess is comfortable right now, and it shows in, in the percent and stock lead. A whiff on the charge shot there as Jess does approach kill percents. And yeah, that sweet spot forward there from Lucas is going to close out that stock. But Jess just immediately getting on that charge. So it's going to be interesting to see, to see how Mighty Alpha proceeds. Unfortunately, another stock loss there off of the edge. And Mighty Alpha on his potentially last stock of the winner's bracket. Jess has just been looking really, really comfortable against both of these characters. Yeah, and up be out of shield is just something you have to constantly look out for if you're fighting against a Samus or a Dark Samus. You know, because it will get you. You know, you might be thinking of other uppies out of shield, but that one is just really, really good. And there's the PSI magnet we were expecting. Quite a bit of percent there healed up for Lucas. But again, it's just getting earned right back. Yeah, it also seems like the platforms have been aiding Jess, I think, maybe a little bit more than Mighty Alpha thus far in this set. We are seeing a little bit more liberal usage there of the PSI Magnet. And it seems to be panning out pretty well thus far. Now we are in another edge guard situation. Jess probably super keen to not get hit with another PK. PK freeze. Another whiff on the charge shot there. But again, this percent is building up. More and more things are going to start killing now. And a nice side tilt there. Let's see if it's going to be closed out. And up tilt closes that one out as Jess wins this set 2-0. Good stuff from him, Dark Samus. 